This video is all about some genius Christmas DIYs that you can make using Dollar Tree wood items. So let's get started. First up is this faux book stack using some Dollar Tree wood trays. So I'm using the larger trays. I'm going to use two of them for this project. And I went ahead and spray painted them in red spray paint. So once everything is dry, you're going to take the two trays and you are going to either add some handwriting to them, a stencil. I'm going to use a decal, um, but of course, lots of different options for this. You can also just leave them as is, maybe add some stickers to look like binding. I had my decals say the Nutcracker and a Christmas Carol. Um, let me know in the comments, what are some of your go-to books that you like to read, maybe to your kids, your grandkids, or yourself during Christmas time? I always like to know, but I figured I'd go with two classics. And then once those decals are on, I am just going to carefully hot glue these together. Um, you want to make sure you don't add too much hot glue because it will seep out of the line of the books. And once you have the glue on, that is it for this. I did something similar with a Halloween faux book stack book ends, which will be linked down below in case you're interested. It can be recreated to fit everyday decor, but I love this super quick and easy. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know every time I upload a new video. Also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It helps me know what you like and helps YouTube see me a little more. So for our next wood hack, we're gonna use these bell wood shapes. I went ahead and painted these in like a tannish brown color, and we are gonna make some faux gingerbread cookies. Now for this, I'm gonna use some white hot glue from Sherbonder, but you can use a white paint pen, you can use paint, you can use caulk if you can put it on, um, I guess neatly because this is very small. Now I will say that for some reason this hot glue was giving me a little bit of a difficult time with the stringiness. So I wanted to do some more designs, but instead I decided to stay to the squiggly lines. I did some um, outlining just to kind of spruce it up, but the stringiness was driving me crazy. Now I know some people have said put your hot glue in the freezer. Um, I have not tried that. I think I'm gonna have to, it's gotten to that point. Um, but let me know if you have any tips for that because I'm definitely in the market for that. But these look really cute. I put these on a wood piece, painted it red to look like a tray, and you have a really cute little faux gingerbread vignette. Almost every year has these wood Christmas tree cutouts. So adding scrapbook paper to them, nothing groundbreaking, but I found this pattern from Hobby Lobby. I loved it, so I added it. Now, instead of just leaving this as is, we're going to add a stand to this so that you can display this on a tabletop, and we're also going to add some dimension to this. Now, one of my favorite things to use at the Dollar Tree is this pom-pom trim. You can get it in white, you can get it in green, and you can get it in red. I kind of wish they had black or maybe like a light tan. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but the white is nice. Now, I went with kind of more of a boho look. And I'm sorry if you're one of the people who watches my video and who hates when I say boho. I did not realize that that is such a triggering style to refer to, especially considering that that is predominantly the style that I do on my channel. So I digress. I don't know why that bothers some people, but either way, I decided to make this a little different than the rather like traditional Christmas decor. So adding these kind of acts like a garland and then to have this stand up, I'm gonna take this butterfly wood picture frame on a stand found year round in the Dollar Tree Crafter Square section. I'm gonna hot glue that on so a little bit of the stand can show. And I was kind of going more for a world market inspired look, which I feel that this combo gives me. And it's a great way to just dress up those plain wood tree cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I use these wood circles from the crafter square and I'm gonna use four of these and I'm gonna make stocking tags. Now I monogram them for my family, but the printable that I will provide you will be blank. So you can add like a monogram sticker to it. 
um, vinyl. You can hand draw it to fit your family and then print out as many as you need. Since there's four members in my family, that is why I went ahead and just printed out four. This is a super, super easy project. You're just going to cut everything out and then apply it. I do suggest using Mod Podge or spray adhesive for this. A glue stick I just don't think is going to hold up um, as a stocking tag. Um, and I just did add a generous amount, especially around where that jute is. I added all of the printables and that is it. These were super easy. And again, I like making Christmas decor that I can also use in the winter. Um, I can even put this like in my entryway with everyone's initial. And I think these are really cute and easy. These also make really cute ornaments. Next up is a really fun, different way to look at a Christmas bucket list. So this is the printable that I provided for this project and we're gonna first start with this scrapbook paper and adding it to this Dollar Tree Christmas tree wood cutout. Now I have not seen this so far this year at my Dollar Tree. Um, I got a whole bunch last year, so I'm just reusing the ones that I have, but this can be recreated with any wood sign or sign that you have from Dollar Tree. You've seen me do this a whole bunch of times. I'm just tracing and then applying that scrapbook paper to this. And then I went ahead and cut out the printables. Um, in the fall, I did a lot of bucket lists. I did like little cards in different ways to um, kind of have an interactive way of showing a bucket list. So I wanted to continue that with the Christmas theme. So I cut out the little cards and I thought this little wood tray piece would be a great stand for this and place to put the cards. So I'm hot gluing a tumbling tower block to the center of this and that's what's going to hold up our wood tree. So once that's attached, I just went ahead and added the bucket list cards. Just some fun ideas, but this is definitely something that you can customize yourself. You can use the printable I provided or you can just type up um, things that you would like to do with your family during the holiday season and then add it. There's a plenty of room in that little tray and I think this is a really fun way, especially if you have kids or grandkids, they can just pick something out and then you have an activity that you can do on the weekend or when you have time. Next, we're gonna make this super cute and easy Santa stop here sign. So this is the printable that I provided for this project and I'm gonna use this hexagon piece from the Dollar Tree. Now I am gonna say that I printed this out as a hexagon, but I didn't think of the exact dimensions of this hexagon piece from Dollar Tree. So you are gonna see a little bit of the wood, just a heads up, and yes, as you can see here, the stripes go outside of the hexagon. Um, you're just gonna trace, or not trace, cut the hexagon shape, if I can say that any more times, um, out and you won't see that excess there. So I just attach this to the wood piece and then we're gonna make a little stand for it. I have two of these small candle holders from Hobby Lobby. I took them from one project I did recently or a couple months ago. Um, and I am just going to hot glue them together and this is gonna act as a stand for our hexagon wood piece. And then we're gonna hot glue the bottom of that and add it and then we're gonna add a tumbling tower block to the back of that just to make sure that this stands up since this does have some weight to it. And once you have that all set, this is your sign. It's small enough that honestly, it would go really cute on a tiered tray. Maybe if you just wanna do one of the candlesticks in the bottom, but this is a really quick and easy idea for those wood hexagon pieces. Next up is a really easy display for small Christmas cards or just one or two that you really want to display. So taking this kind of gothic ornate wood cutout piece found in the Halloween section, which is still out in most Dollar Trees, 
I'm going to add this kind of as an ornate topper to this wood round that I painted in white. Then going back with that pom-pom trim, I'm going to add two lines of this, securing it with some hot glue, and I am going to go back and reinforce it just in the middle of each of the rows to make sure that this stays in place. Now my thought with this is to add some of those small wood clips. You can add some pictures, you can add some holiday reminders or cards, just something that is festive but still subtle that you can use in the holiday season. And also you can use this to even put some lightweight earrings on and make this a year round piece. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas, but I figured it'd be perfect for Christmas cards. So that is why I included it. is going to be a large advent calendar kind of display using some Dollar Tree wood trays and some printables, which will be in the description box below. This is a really fun, easy, large project, so I hope you like this one. So for this project, I'm using three of these tray wood pieces from Dollar Tree, as well as some printables that will be in the description box below. So what I did was I took these outside since it was actually a decent day and I went ahead and spray painted these with some white Rust-Oleum spray paint. Lots of options for these. Um, I just felt like since they had the little slots and the grooves, spray painting them would be easy. I did have to go back and do two coats just to make sure that everything was covered. And yes, I got spray paint all over my driveway. <laughs> so this is what the three trays look like with the spray paint. And then what I'm going to do is put these horizontally and I am going to hot glue them. But before I do that, I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree seasonal signs. Now this is from Valentine's Day leftover. And I'm just going to mark where I need to make a cut. But Dollar Tree, as I'm going to show you in a second, always has a lot of different long seasonal signs. So any sign like that will do. I went on the Dollar Tree website and this is an example of a comparable sign you can use that's out now possibly in your Dollar Tree. Or you can use one of these big wood hanging pieces from the crafter square section. So I made that cut and then I went ahead and took some hot glue and then I hot glued all three pieces and this is going to be kind of the base of our advent. Now let me know down in the comments, do you like advent calendars or do you do more of like a Christmas countdown? This is going to be more of a countdown but like in an advent form i kind of like the countdowns better but let me know what you prefer in the description not the description box good lord the comments down below so this is a little sneak peek of what we're going to be making so as you see we have this beautiful christmas village on top with the church as the centerpiece so for this i'm using one of these house kind of shelf pieces from dollar tree now i did use this in a recent project which i will have linked down below and i made this into kind of a decorative mug stand and these house pieces are so pretty. If you can find them at your Dollar Tree, definitely snag them because they are so versatile. And this is going to be the focal point or the base for our church. So I made this printable. Again, it is in the description box below. And I went ahead and measured everything to fit this Dollar Tree sign. So all I need to do is just trace and cut and apply this. Now I did print this out on cardstock. I find that printing out pieces that you're going to adhere to a sign on cardstock just eliminate the bubbles and they kind of hold up a little better. So since I did rip the ledge off this sign, I did go ahead and kind of sand down the bumps that were made. I first put this sign on the top of the printable just to make sure that it will line up when I go ahead and trace it. And then that is what I'm going to do now, just trace and cut this to fit our house sign. And then once I made sure that it fit, I just went ahead and took some Mod Podge. I know, shocker, me and Mod Podge are back on. Um, you can use that spray adhesive. You could use a glue stick, but I feel like you would have to use 
a decent amount of the glue to make sure that the cardstock holds on, but whatever your adhesive preference is, use that. I did make sure that I painted the Mod Podge on nice and thin, let it get a little bit tacky before adding the printable. Now you can leave this as is, but I felt like it was missing something. So I took two crafting popsicle sticks and I went ahead and made this act kind of as a roof just to give a little bit of a pop and dimension. Taking some brown acrylic paint and painting this, I kind of made it look almost like a stain. So I didn't do a super opaque coat, but of course that is personal preference. Once that little roof is hot glued to our church, we are now going to add the other houses in this kind of village scene. So these are two printables, like I said, that will be in the description box below. And if you ever have issues downloading my printables, you can always email me. It may take me a day or two to get back to you, but I will always send you those PDF files directly. So I went ahead and just made sure I took my time, cut all around the two village houses, and I laid them on either side of our long sign from Dollar Tree just to kind of get an idea of where I needed to hot glue and center our church since this is the focal piece of this piece and then I used some hot glue for that and just a glue stick for the village houses. Okay, so this is what the top of our Christmas countdown looks like so far. And then I will eventually be showing you how I add this on top of those boxes that we first hot glued. But before we do that, I wanted to go ahead and add the numbers or the countdown to this piece. So for this, I'm using some fastener dots from the crafter square section of Dollar Tree. Now I first just went ahead and laid them out so that I can make sure everything fits. As you notice, since we're only using three of these trays, I put two numbers per box, but this is a great way also to save money instead of buying a ton of these trays to fit all 24 or 25 days, however you do your countdown. Um, also, if you can't find a whole bunch, it's great that you can do this with just three. Now you can also do this with Dollar Tree signs. You just wanna make sure it kinda of has a backing that goes out so you have kind of a little ledge. And I added the fastener dots just so that letters, or not the letters, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's late, I'm tired. Um, the numbers pop. You could totally glue these. I just thought it looked a little bit better having that kind of come up. And once those numbers are on, we are going to attach this main piece on the top. Now I did add a little piece of Crafter Square scrap wood just to add a little bit more stability to the piece. And then I went in with a whole bunch of the Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks just to make sure that everything stays in place. Now I did use a number 25 for the day of Christmas. I'm keeping that in the back for now and then I'll just add that to the church doors on the day of Christmas. But this is how it turned out. You'll see that I used one of the wood stickers from Dollar Tree to kind of act as our moving piece for each of the days. Now I'm doing this more as like a, it's December 1st, it's December 2nd. I know people do advent calendars and Christmas countdowns a little bit different. So the way that we do it is just like, it's December 1st today, it's December 2nd. I don't know, that's just how we do it. Let me know in the comments how you do it. But either way, you could definitely customize this to fit how your family does it. And I think this is a really fun project to make to count down the days until Christmas. 
Now, if you hope you enjoyed these Dollar Tree Christmas wood hacks, let me know in the comments which of these was your favorite or you plan on recreating. As always, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, I upload two to three times a week, so you definitely do not want to miss out. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.